Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to perform an oil change on the Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a list of all the tools that I've used as well as their price. This way you will have an idea of exactly how much it is going to cost you. One of those items that I believe every Honda Africa Twin owner should have is the Haynes Maintenance and Service Manual. You will find a link down in the description of the video. Before we start, a few considerations. One, using a cheap oil is not going to do your bike any favor. In fact, if your engine gets damaged, it's going to cost you a lot more than what you saved in the cheaper oil. Two, I only use Honda original components. That way, I'm assured of quality of the product. Three, make sure your bike is upright. If possible, put it on a paddock stand. You can find those for cheap in many stores. And four, Make sure your front brake lever is tied down and locked. Five, you want your engine slightly warm so that the oil can drain more fluidly. For the oil change, I use the kit that I found on Amazon. I'm going to place some cardboard under the bike just to avoid any oil spillage. If you have a skid plate, go ahead and remove it. I have a Honda OEM skid plate for now. And after we remove it, why not give it a wash? I can feel all the grit and the mud. This baby needs a shower. Here's the location of our two drain plugs. Remember, the Africa Twin has two drain plugs. The kit only comes with one. You might want to get one separately, but the, the most important part is that you get two crash washers. We are going to remove the dipstick. and the oil filter valve. So that it can act as a vent. And we're going to place the oil tub under the bike. At this time, we're going to remove the oil drain plugs.
right? Made a bit of a mess. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to get a small container. Lesson learned. Now we're going to remove the oil filter with a special filter key. watch for more oil draining. Now we're going to replace our oil drain plugs to a torque of 30 Nm and make sure you have new crush washers. Now it's time to place the new oil filter and before we do we are going to smear a little bit of clean oil around the thread and the rubber seal. After cleaning the dipstick, we're going to place it back in its place, but we're not going to screw it in because we're going to use it to check our oil level. As you can see, after two quarts, still clean. All right, I have four quarts in. Let's check the level. All right, we're looking good. Also make sure you check the O-rings on the plug as well as the dipstick. Mine were in pretty good shape. Now we're going to start the engine and we're gonna let it run for about two to three minutes and make sure that check oil light is extinguished after a few seconds. I just checked the oil level and I'm going to add a little more.
perform another check. And perfect. Before we put the skid plate back on, it's a good time to look around and make sure that there's no oil leakage from the filter or the plugs. Looks great. Before I let you go, I have a little surprise. Next time we are going to install these beautiful levers. I'm excited, they just came in the mail. Took two months to get them, the front end here. I'm gonna test them and review them. Thank you again for watching. Please click like and subscribe and click on the little bell. You'll be notified when my next video is up. For any useful links, check the description of the video. Thank you, see you next time.